it's it's not really like a fan. It's it's a lifestyle. Exactly. <laughs> it's, like, it's it's a life choice. So I haven't I haven't made that life choice yet. Of course, this movie is a love story with the two of you, but it's also really a mother daughter story. And you know, you talked a little bit about how much your mother did to make your childhood magical. Mm -hmm. So now that you have a daughter of your own, how are you going to do that for her? Bring my mom around. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I've got my nieces and nephews in there in the room. Um, we're we're all very close, and um, you know, I just I, I I learn so much from her. So I you know I do all the same things that my mom did, but just a quarter as well. But my mom, she literally went to visit their school the other day, and my youngest nephew is class of five. Um, five-year-olds, they saw my mom and they just screamed for five minutes. They ended <laughs> crying after they were screaming because their emotions got so worked up. They were so happy That's to so see her. Sweet. She's like Willy Wonka and Mickey Mouse, like wrapped up in a <laughs> chocolate fudge co covered churro. She's just I love it. delightful. Well, speaking of crying, I did just read an interview with Ryan where he said he cried so much when your daughter was born, he compared himself to a human sprinkler head. <laughs> Is that an accurate description? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if that's an accurate description. Uh, he is charming. He does come up with funny things, but um, no, he was, he was not crying that much. So how familiar were you with each other before this film came along? Not. Really? No, we met two weeks, two weeks before we started shooting. Wow. Okay, Blake, are you a Game of Thrones fan? Not yet, but I'm really scared because everyone that I meet, it's 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 not really like a fan. It's it's a lifestyle. It's, exactly. It's like it's it's a life choice. So I haven't I haven't made that life choice yet. Yeah. But I'm really it's excited to. And everyone I know is like, oh, I'll watch every episode with you again for you. And I'm like, no, no, it's just for you right. because you guys are so obsessed. Um, so yeah. I'm, but I can totally yeah. picture Blake in the Game of Thrones world, right? Can't you? As a dragon? Yeah, maybe. Like, <laughs> you kind of have Mother of Dragon hair going in a good way. Oh. Ma'am, it says here you were born in 1908. That makes you 45 years old. That's right. Of course, Adeline's lived through so many eras. If each of you could kind of pick a historical moment that you could have been present for, what would it be? The European Championship Soccer in 1988. Very specific choice. Maybe uh, at the finale. Okay. But when, when we went to the moon, that seems, that's always the go. thing in movies, it's like whoosh, sounding off. And, Huge yeah. moment, yeah. Yeah, that would, I would yeah. imagine that would feel like really good, like wow, we've yeah. really done it. We're really smart human beings. Yeah. That might yeah. feel good. 